Hello and welcome to the second part, Group B of this year's Europa League. Um, that's a group where we have the Battle of Red Bull or the Battle of the Cans, as I like to call it. At least in German it's called Das Duell der Dosen, the Duel of the Cans, more or less, and that's what it is. I'm not a favor in favor of Salzburg, I, but you know, in European comp competition, they are collecting points for Austria, and I'm wearing an Austrian jersey, but you know. Um, I feel right wearing the Austria jersey. I always feel a little bit dirty uh, supporting Salzburg in a way. But on the other side, they have been doing well. And Salzburg is also the first team that we're going to look at because this year's set of jerseys is remarkable and crazy in a way. The home jersey, we have seen the similar design for Montpellier already. And I think we also saw it for Augsburg. Is the red shoulders and then the white pattern with the zig white uh, base with the zigzaggy pattern on the front that has I don't know where it's coming this of course is a jersey that's worn in the league uh, the sponsor on the Europa League jersey if they will wear it is much much smaller potentially even just saying Red Bull we will see this uh, later on also I think that the, the crest they cannot use this crest in European play it's I find it a little bit ridiculous the UEFA rules on that, but you know, whatever. Uh, the back then reminds me so much of the current Croatia jersey. It's just red on top and white on the back. Nothing like the front, which is crazy and overbearing. I think if this was just white, I would be fine with it. Have it like the back. The Red Bulls also will not show in Europa League play. I think this is a crazy jersey it's not however it's not the worst uh size side of it i just really don't like the print on it i just gonna give this four stars and stay with it even worse is and we'll see that the away jersey first of all if you look at it yes uh, we exchanged red for yellow on the sleeves the pattern is a little bit darker but it's still mainly white and then you have the red stripes on the on the side which on the home jersey uh were basically just white so you know not too much difference, but where that color difference comes in is the back. Yes, this is the same jersey. It looks on the back, the same as on the front. It cannot be used in European play. That is the reason why Red Star Belgrade at home had to play in their away jerseys, because Salzburg couldn't play in these against Red Star Belgrade. And they didn't have the third jersey ready yet. This is an absolute abomination. Absolute abomination. You cannot have a jersey that's this different on the front than on the back. And especially that radically different. Uh, if you switch at least the dark blue and the white on this pattern, maybe, but not this way. One star. Absolutely one star and absolute abomination. Then we have the third jersey. This is the one that we will see a lot in Europa League play, which actually is decent. It's not the greatest um, template, but I like the colors. You here see the logo that Salzburg uses in European play. You see, of course, the Europa League logo and the UEFA Respect and the simple Red Bull sponsor. You know, all regulations complying. Um, I actually like this one. It looks good. It looks the same on the front as on the back. And I will give this seven stars. There, Salzburg redeems itself a little bit. And it's also different from what they usually have been wearing. Now, the polar opposite of Salzburg is, of course, Celtic Glasgow. With a New Balance kit with a classic hooped pattern. Um, you cannot mess with that one. Slightly they do, but actually it looks over quite nice. The only thing I wish is that the hoops would also continue on the sleeves. They're only on the upper part, they're not on the lower. That's the one thing that's missing here. Other than that, I think this is an absolutely gorgeous jersey. Even the sponsor fits in nicely. Yes, we would rather have not a sponsor, but the sponsor fits in nicely. I even like this on the side, where you see a little seam popping. Uh, really great looking overall jersey. If the sleeves were also hooped, I would give this 10, I give this 9 stars. Down to the collar, I think there's a lot of wonderful things. And you even don't see this weird uh, green thingy. It's there, but it doesn't bother me here that New Balance has in all their shirts. The away jersey has a big downside that, you know, the home jersey is green and mostly white. Now we have an all white away jersey. 
that doesn't fly. It's basically the same template as Liverpool has with a nice color. I love the crest. I love the tartan pattern on there. It all makes a little bit sense. Uh, however, I find it maybe even a tad too white. The, this thing on the shoulders doesn't look quite right. And yeah, I'm questioning contrast. I think this in dark, or maybe as a third jersey, would look great. But I still love it and I will readily give it also nine stars. It's really a great kit. It really is. Nothing like the third kit though. <laughs> Another abomination. Uh, yes, Celtic has been using his colors before, but this inverted Slovenia pattern, horrible, the color gradient, horrible, the colors, vomit inducing, honestly, and the sponsor cannot be red, unless you look very, very close. Um, this goes right the Salzburg away jersey way, so it's not, nah, it's that horrible. I give this also one star. It joins my crap heap where we so far had Hertha, we had um, Atletico Madrid, we have Salzburg. I might have even given Montpellier on there. Now Celtic joins the crap heap with this one. I hope to never see it. I'm just afraid we might. Then back to Red Bull. We have Red Bull Leipzig. Um, the home jersey I rated already once. I think I gave this a seven. And yeah. I think this is the better one of the of the Red Bull jerseys for sure. I love what they're doing with the sleeve. I actually would have liked to see something like that on the England jersey. That could have looked very, very interesting. Of course, uh, they also have, a, I think, a slightly different crest. Not 100% now. I saw them play, but didn't look at that detail. Um, the away jersey, it looks weird since I gave yesterday Zurich. Uh, with for a similar jersey seven, but this is only six. There's just the yellow doesn't connect. It's a little bit boring, um, and the colors even don't fit quite nice. So it's just a six. The third jersey, um, yeah, the Salzburg one is better. Yes, they use the sponsor uh, maybe nicer instead of just Red Bull, um, but honestly. Yeah, I think Leipzig can use the same crest now Now, now they look at it. I mean, the German regulations are probably even stricter than UEFA regulations on that. So yeah, but honestly, black and white, it looks classy. I would have wished for some red on there or something that's a little bit, little bit more connecting. So it's just a plain old black jersey, five stars. We actually stay with black and white, but now we go way up north to Rosenburg, Trondheim, who got pretty boring Adidas kits. This is the template that we've seen so often. The sponsor has the double logo. The Rosenborg crest by itself was never that great to begin with and doesn't even pop here. You basically don't see it. Uh, middle of the park. This is just a five star. But you know, Rosenborg kits never... I think I used to like Rosenborg because they were really messing everything up, but that kids never excited me. Although I'm a fan of a black and white team, but it's similar. I never, I rarely get excited by Germany kids and those are very much Germany kids. And almost the same thing can be said for the away jersey, which is basically color reversing everything, uh, except for the crest. Also could be much more interesting, but I still stay with my five stars. It is black with a double logo sponsor. Not more than that, the crest is a little bit more popping here. But there's really no odd no, no more to that kit. Well, we're at the end. Let me know what you thought about all these kits. They are truly interesting, but they cover the whole range. And the most interesting for me is that the most traditional team has, of course, the best jerseys. A uh, third jersey, disregarding. Well, let me know what you thought about this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you soon. We'll soon cover Group C. Bye.